Okay. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. Please note that these are intuitive channel messages, um, not tarot. So not all messages will resonate. Just leave what resonates behind and take what does if, if you are resonating with the message. Anyway, <sighs> all right, let's find out what the message is for Capricorn, please. What energy would like to come through? Hey Capricorn, you're in the spirit animal of the horse, which is all about freedom. You are free right now. You've broken free. <laughs> so I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. You're free. You're feeling free. You've broken free from something or someone. Hearing I'm finally free. a good feeling to be free right if you especially if you've been in a toxic relationship what are we free of <laughs> nasty nasty little energy that is okay is that the one come on let me get it okay then i want to get on oh, okay what's the next energy <laughs> I'll go with this one. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, I feel like you were dealing with someone who was mentally disturbed. Um, so you're, you're coming up with the spirit animal of the horse because you're finally free. The horse is all about freedom. It's the energy of breaking free freedom. I feel like you're someone very intuitively gifted, right? And I feel like you broke free from someone who may have had a mental illness. They were mentally disturbed. It could have been some kind of demonic influence that had a hold of this person. But I'm getting that they were very mentally disturbed. We had a lot of this coming through the, the previous channel messages I did for Capricorn where there was someone with a mental illness, mental disturbance. And you're finally free from having to speak to this person. We've got Arvo the Parrot. So you don't have to talk to this person anymore. You don't communicate with them. And I feel like this, this person who was mentally disturbed might have been speaking badly about you. There was a smear campaign coming through in the Capricorn reading. So I feel like you're finally free of a mentally disturbed person. And you're just feeling like, yeah, I'm so glad that that's over. This person was so dramatic. I feel like they were talking about you. I feel like this person was talking about you behind your back. And I feel like you're finally feeling free of this person or this situation, this smear campaign. I feel like you were dealing with a narcissist, a mentally disturbed narcissist with de demonic influence over them. And they were talking about you because you broke free from this person and they didn't have control over you. So I feel like this mentally disturbed person was like really talking about you and you're just feeling free of that. You're like, I'm so glad that shit is over. I'm so glad I'm, I got away. I'm so glad I broke free. I'm so glad I don't have to even think about this person anymore. That's the vibe I'm getting from you. <laughs> That's a really good feeling, right? When you break free of something really dark. Drama, right? And you're just free. You're like, it's like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders. You're like, I'm finally out. It's like you feel like you're finally free. You're finally out the other side and you're feeling good. You're feeling free. You're feeling like it's over. You don't have to deal with that nightmarish situation anymore. <laughs> and so I feel like this is still your energy. I feel like you just put up really fierce boundaries towards this person. You're like the black egg towards this person. So I feel like you stopped communicating or engaging with whatever that energy was. 
um, you went into your hermit mode. This is a very hermit shell energy. So I feel like before you broke free, you were like the black egg and this person got nothing from you. You didn't entertain it. You gave it no attention. And I feel like, yeah, this person is like not receiving a reaction. You're not reacting. I get reactive abuse from this as well. So this person might have been posting things about you on social media, talking badly about you to get a reaction. And you were very strong. You were solid with your boundaries. You were very stubborn. You're like, I'm not engaging. I'm not entertaining this. I want nothing to do with this person. I just want to be free from whatever that was. I'm not entertaining it. I'm not engaging it. I'm not interested in any of that shit. So you were, yeah, you were very, very strong. Let's see what other energy would like to come through, whether it's all about you. Sometimes spirit does this, whether it's just like a really toxic energy. We don't even want to think about them because you're finally feeling free. So why would we go into whatever this person's up to? Like, who cares? They were toxic. They don't deserve to have your energy or attention anymore. They're just, it's just done. <sighs> You're in your intuition now. So I feel like you're listening to your intuition about this person situation. And you just, you just, your intuition was like telling you, guiding you and protecting you from this mentally disturbed person. And you were just like, I need to get out. I need to get out fast. And so you are very intuitive and you are gifted and you listen to your intuition. Your intuition told you, don't engage. Don't entertain this person. Just give it no time, attention or energy. They have a mental illness. They're mentally disturbed. Um, then not, you're not, you can't reason with crazy is what I just got. Like spirit was like, just don't even engage. You're not going to get any positive outcomes out of this person. They're mentally disturbed. So it's a very toxic narcissist that you broke free from. You didn't react. You didn't respond. You're really strong and you listen to your intuition. So. I'm going to see what else spirit would like you to know about this. But that's a really positive message that says basically you did the right thing. So if you were wondering, you know, if your intuition was correct, this this message might be conf confirmation for you that you broke out of a situation. And now you're teasing this person from afar. You're like, and see how she's got her tongue out. You're like, you didn't get me, sucker. You didn't talk. You can't touch this. No, 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 no. You can't touch this. That's what I just got. <laughs> okay, so this person with the soul shrinker energy and the fatha footer, they were trying to come at you with that drama. Like, that is toxic. You were dealing with a very dramatic narcissist, and this was like an on off kind of thing. So, I feel like you're free of all of that and it just feels liberating it just feels good you're finally walking away from that shit so what is the parting message from spirit about this person what is their spirit animal let's see what their spirit animal is we've got eight minutes on the clock and i do i do want to do an extended reading and i felt like spirit was really wrapping it up what is this toxic person's spirit animal thanks Okay, the beaver. How do they feel about you? <laughs> okay, so I feel like this masculine energy is in the energy of the beaver because he's working really hard on his finances right now. The beaver is all about hearth and home. So I feel like it's someone who has been working really hard at their job or their career. And we have you coming have them coming up as feeling like to buyers of the waters towards you so this person knows you've let them go i the to buyers of the waters energy is all about letting go see how she's got you know no attachment to the feelings of the water flowing in her and she's peaceful so he knows he's lost you he knows you've let him go and we have she the correct this masculine energy has feelings for you it's put him in his feelings like the fact that you have let him go the fact that you broke free the fact that you didn't want anything to do with this person and with the beaver's energy i feel like this person is more working on their finances i feel like they feel like it was because they had a lack of money 
Um, I don't think that's why you let them go. I think you let them go because they were mentally disturbed and they were toxic. And I think this masculine is, oh, I didn't have enough money. So he's working really hard on his finances because he feels like if he had more money, you wouldn't have let him go. Um, so I feel like there's a message from spirit for that masculine to say, no, it wasn't because you didn't have any money. Why did you let this masculine go? You were listening to your intuition. What was your intuition telling you? That they were mentally disturbed. Anything else? <laughs> this person was in a very low vibration like they're very depressed we have the gloomness doom so the reason spirit told you to let this masculine go is because he was really sad he was miserable and he has he has a lot of healing to do so you were told to block this masculine because he would have lowered your vibration he kills the vibe it's a very depressed masculine energy like who wants to be around gloom and doom? I don't. He has a very gloomy, negative, and dark perception of reality. And look how sad and depressed he is. Who wants to spend time and hanging out with a guy that's like this? He's so depressed. He's so sad. So your intuition was telling you this person's on, in a very low vibration. They, they have, they've unhealed trauma. And I need to have boundaries towards them because all this person's going to do is project that toxic toxic pain and unhealed trauma onto me so you had to let them go so this masculine needs to work on himself not just his finances so you've probably put him in his feelings even more now so he's probably feeling even sadder so he has a lot of healing that he needs to work on doing through meditation and breath work and that's you know the message here it wasn't just because you were financially unstable it was because you were very very depressing very very sad and and you have a lot of unhealed look at all of this this is all like the unhealed gloom and doom he has a very negative perception of reality because he has all these um depressing thoughts so he needs to heal that all right that's the situation here capricorn if you're resonating with a message the link is below in the description box to the extended reading you can follow me over to vimeo where you can access this reading individually or you can join my patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate i really appreciate your energy exchange it keeps me on youtube full time otherwise i'll see you next week take care all the best bye capricorn